Hi, um, my name is Shadia, and I'm one of the co-creators of this film. And I wanted you guys to know that throughout this video, you're going to see people's perspectives, like African-American males and females' perspectives on living in this society, because I thought it would be cool to get people's point of views. And I would like to tell you this girl I interviewed, but she never really told me her name. I interviewed her in downtown, and... Yeah, she told me that people judge her on her hair and tell and ask her ask if her hair is real or not. And then people are always mad. And people are so quick to ask her, is she from Africa, South Africa, Ethiopia, or something just because she's black. And I learned from her that you could be yourself without following anybody's rules or beauty standards because she showed me how natural how natural she is and that she hasn't she doesn't have to straighten her hair or anything growing up in an all-white community in an all-white school i definitely do feel some racism towards me and so like walking inside stores and stuff like that i'd be watched out of all my friends when I'm at school, it's like so much like prejudice and there's so much judgment before actually getting to know me. So they'll assume a lot about me and where I come from without actually knowing who I am. And how do you feel about racism now? Racism, I definitely do think that there's no such thing as reverse racism. So there's definitely only one-sided. And I basically feel like it's never gonna end. I think it's inevitable. But I do think that there's ways we can overcome and basically learn to love each other without getting um, controversial, without getting uncomfortable. And yeah. And how do you think, how do you feel about the president's approach on racism? I think the president is obviously a high authority. And for the president to be making such remarks and such racist comments, it's teaching the world that this is okay. And it's teaching the world that this is acceptable. And in 2018, that is not what we want. I feel like we're going in a step backwards instead of a step forward. Okay, thank you. Do you face any challenges at school racially wise or in the society? Not me, but a friend of mine has, and I thought that wasn't right, so I told her she can either report it or talk to our school counselor. How do you feel about the society? Um, society now, um, well, school-wise, I feel like everybody should treat everybody equally, no matter uh, race they are, and outside of school, um, the same. What would you like to change with the society? Something I would like to change is more respect and more, like, less judgment. Because I know a lot, there's a lot of judgmental people, but they judge others without knowing them personally. Why would you, why do you want to get people's perspectives? Um, to see, I would like to get other people's perspectives because um, I would like to know what they think versus of what, how, like, of what I think because I do know what I think, but it's always good to get other people's ideas. Thank you. Hi, my name is Shadia Crew. Hi, Shadia. Uh, first question. Do you face any challenges at school, racially wise, in the society? Yeah. Um, the challenges I face are like, like people are so quick to judge you, like based on your race or your ethnicity. Mm -hmm. Um, and how do you feel about the society? Um, they're really like, there's a lot of people that judge you on anything you are. Um, and what would you like to change with society? I would like people to respect me more at school just because I'm a different person. Okay. Okay, so in that video that I did the interview, what I meant by the last part is, uh, for me, for like, my wish is to like have people respect me more because I'm a different person. I meant by saying that like, people should respect me more just because I'm a black girl and th stop throwing racial jokes towards me because you don't understand me, you don't know my background, you don't, know what I, you don't even know what I go through as a person. 
So. But we as people, like as different people, different color, different skin, different races, should accept each other as one and have a unity and positivity around. 